Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Version. Uh, we're in Violet City's gym, the leader here is Faulkner. Uh, we're going to talk to this guy quickly though. Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give some advice. Believe me, if you believe a championship dream can come true, you believe, then listen. Grass type Pokemon is weak against fight playing type. Keep this in mind. Yeah, so he's saying basically don't use a grass type in this gym because you will fail terribly. Um, so we're about to take on this gym now. We've got two trainers to face, and then we've got Faulkner. Uh, let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. Yep. So they're going to be using flying types all the all this time. So he's going to send out a Spearow to begin with. Uh, we've got our Meatloaf level 10, but we're almost at level 11. So that's going to be quite cool if we level up here. Didn't affect the Spiro, come on. That's the only problem about Supersonic, is that it doesn't actually hit that often. Okay, we're not going to risk another one, so let's bring out Hot Dog, and let's use Bite against this Spiro. Uh, so, yeah, and we can't use Chikorita, because Peck is a flying type attack, and Chikorita will probably get KO'd if the Spearow used Peck on it. So he continually used Bite and Meatloaf grew to level 11, which is awesome. And we defeated uh, Abe there. Uh, Meatloaf took quite a bit of damage though. Um, so I'm just going to go heal up at the Pokemon Center before we take on anyone else. Uh, so even though Meatloaf is a flying type move, the fact that we couldn't land a supersonic meant that we were that we were just taking damage and not giving it. And because we haven't learned bite yet, the only thing we still have is leech life. It's gonna make this gym very difficult, actually, uh, considering that we can only use two of our three Pokemon that we've caught. Uh, I could get Poliwhirl out of the PC and use him. Uh, but I don't particularly want to. So here's our second uh, trainer. The keyword is Guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on. See, I would love it if Falconer had like a... a Zantu, which is a flying psychic type. Or if he had some Pokemon that was slightly different, you know, ah yes, you learnt it, yay, you uh, you hit it, sorry, yay. Like a Zantu is a um, is a is a flying psychic type, so it's fairly awesome. I really wish that he'd have had like a Zantu, a Hootoot, and a Pidgeotto, and a little bit of variation to this gym. But no, he's got a Pidgey and a Pidgeotto, I think, or he's got a Hoot Hoot and a Pidgeotto. I really can't remember. We're about to find out, though. Um, and this is basically throwing my supersonic theory out the window, because Pidgey isn't that intelligent, but um, he's remaining confused for quite a while. But he's getting some hits off, which is the only other thing. He is getting some hits off here on us. So, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. He's, and he's confused no more. See, he actually broke out of confusion when the Hoot Hoot didn't. Um, so maybe, actually, my theory still stands. You know, you never know. Could still stand. He's going to use a Tackle on us. Let's see, that's brought us down to the Amber. We might as well use one of our potions here. Heal up Meatloaf. Uh, even though... Yeah, he's confused no more, uh, so we're going to have to use a third Supersonic on this Pidgey, and now they're starting to miss. So, you can see how a Zubat that still hasn't learnt Bite is pretty, you know, you know, pretty temperamental.
Okay, so it's almost dead, that's good. We're gonna leech it some more, and then hopefully it will hurt itself in its confusion once again. Uh, that should be enough to take it down if it hurts itself once again, and it did, and that Pidgey's finally down. So we took out that Pidgey. We didn't get very many, we didn't get very much experience from that actually. Um, so we're just gonna use the swapping technique this time. Um, because I don't want a repeat of that, we're just going to swap now to Hot Dog. And we're going to use Bite on this Pidgey. Because that's our most powerful move that we have right now. Um, it actually is, because the thing about Bite is that it's 60 power. So that makes it our most powerful move in terms of what we've got on our team. Um, and we can use Bite against, you know, Ghost type, against Psychic types, and it will be super effective against all of those. Uh, and I'm not sure what else it's super effective against, I need to check. Dark type moves have quite a lot of applications, actually. Uh, so we're just going to heal up again because I want to restore all of our HP and PP at the same time, and I want to keep those... Um, potions handy because we might need to use them when facing off against Faulkner. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing about Zubat is that if it doesn't know Bite, it's still pretty useless until it learns Bite. But as soon as it learns Bite, you've seen how powerful our Growlithe is and it knows Bite. So we're just going to save the game here before we face off against him. The thing about this guy is that he is a real pushover, really. Um, he's a real, like, easy first gym, but the gyms do get immensely hard later on. Like, there's a dragon-type gym, for example, which is a final gym badge, so that is ridiculously difficult. So here we go. I'm Falkner, the Violet Pokémon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insult to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. You know, it would be so amazing if he just went, I'll show you the real power, and he had like Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, and we had to face against those. But no, he's got a Pidgey and a Pidgeotto. Um. So he's fairly... oh, I should... I meant to use Supersonic, but I double-clicked the uh, A button rather than pressing down first. Um, so he's fairly easy, actually. As long as Supersonic can actually hit, we should be okay here, just like we were last time. There we go. Finally he's confused, which is good, and we're going to start leeching his life now. Hopefully he'll hurt himself a few times. It's not looking that great for us right now, but Leech Life we can recover some HP, uh, which is good, just little by little. Hopefully this Pidgey will start hurting itself now. Yes, it does. That's great. And hopefully Falconer doesn't have any sort of items to heal up his Pidgey or any sort of bitter berries or anything like that. Uh, so this should work out quite well for us. Um, I'm basically trying to get Zubat leveled up because he's our weakest Pokemon and I want and I really want him to learn Bite because as soon as he learns Bite it will be so much easier. I want him to get all the experience from this Pidgey even though it's not going to be that much. I want to split the uh, experience of the Pidgeotto rather than splitting the experience of the Pidgey. So, ah, first time. Well done, Meatloaf. Uh, so we landed the Supersonic. So that Pidgey is now confused and it's hurt itself again. Well done. So we're going to now leech its life one more time. Hopefully that will be enough to take this Pidgey down. Not quite. Hopefully it will hurt itself once more in its confusion. Yep, there we go. And that was pretty much a repeat of last time. So now he's going to use his Pidgeotto. We're going to keep Meatloaf out for just a second uh, because I want to use Supersonic 
Hopefully Meatloaf can withstand the gust. It was a critical hit, but yeah, we got off the supersonic, so now Pidgeotto is also confused. So now that Pidgeotto's confused, we're going to bring out Hot Dog. And we're going to start spamming those bites. Hopefully we'll be able to cause it to flinch as well, which is a really, really good... Yeah, it flinched, which is a really, really good um, thing that Bite also does. And hopefully it will hurt itself in its confusion once more. It didn't, it got off a gust, but that's fine. And we took down his Pidgeotto. You see what I mean about him being kind of a pushover? Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokémon. See, they weren't even his Pokémon, they were his dad's. Alright, take this, it's the official Pokémon League Zephyr Badge. We got 900 for winning, we sent some to our mother! We got the Zephyr Badge! We got the Zephyr Badge! Raises the attack power of Pokémon, it also enables you to use Flash anytime. And here, take this too. We received TM31. TM31, blah blah blah, by using TM you can only be used once, it's Mud Slap. It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it's both defensive and offensive. Yeah, Mud Slap is actually really cool. It's, it's basically the upgrade from Sand Attack. Because Sand Attack lowers accuracy, um, but Mud Slap is basically the uh, damage dealing one of that. Hello Steven, we discovered something new about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Click. So yeah, they discovered something new about the egg, so he sent one of his aides out to uh, find us here in Violet City Pokemon Center. We're just going to heal up our Pokemon firstly before we talk to him. Uh, so yeah, that was Faulkner, and as you could see, he was pretty easy, actually, to uh, defeat. Um, we're going to talk to this aide now. He's going to go, Stephen, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favour to ask. Uh, would you take the Pokemon egg? What if we say no? What happens? We're going to say yes, but I've never actually said no. I wonder if it's like the illusion of choice rather than actual choice. Uh, we discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Steven, you're the only person we can rely on. Uh, please call Professor Elm when that egg hatches. So now we've got the egg. And... We can check. It moves around in slime sometimes. It must be close to hatching. Uh, basically, it will only hatch, as he said, it will only hatch if it's with other active Pokémon. Um, but I'm not sure if this works or not. It is a myth. But if you put it at the top of your party, apparently it will hatch sooner because it's it tricks the game into making it think that the that the egg has become is being more active because it's at the front of your party. I don't know whether it's a myth or not. Um, but we're going to check it out, see what happens. So we're saving the power, uh, saving the saving the game. Don't turn off the power. Um, and we're not even 15 minutes into this into this video yet. We've still got some time left. I mean, I'm oh, I might keep it at like 25 minutes ish. But yeah, that was that was that. Um, I'll just quickly check how we're doing for items. Got two potions, four Pokeballs, so I'll buy I'll buy a couple more potions. Might as well, because uh, we're about to go to a route. So uh, no, not Pokeballs, potions. Um, we'll buy three more potions. We might as well buy some more Pokeballs. Actually, let's buy three more Pokeballs um, because. We're coming up to a new route, so we might find some more Pokémon that we want to add to our team. Uh, and this guy down here, uh, Route 32, this guy down here didn't let us pass last time. But if we talk to him this time, 
have some good Pokemon there. It must be from training you gave them in Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir for Violet City, take this. It increases the power of Grass-type moves. We received the Miracle Seed. We put the Miracle Seed in our open pocket. Your, your experiences in Violet City should be useful for your journey. So yeah, we received the Miracle Seed, uh, which is an item that can be used to boost Grass-type moves. So if we give it to our Dandelion, that will make his uh, that will make his Razor Leaf even more powerful, which is you can't go wrong with a more powerful Razor Leaf. So here's another Pokémon encounter here on this new route, and what is it? It's a Bell Sprouts, um, level seven. No, we don't really particularly want Bell Sprouts, but. Um, we do want to train up our meatloaf. See if he can learn. See if he can learn bite anytime soon. Because as soon as he learns bite, he'll become a very useful member of our team. Uh, so we might as well just kill this bell sprout. See if we can level him up. Not quite, but uh, we'll see. It looks like we've got another trainer battle coming up, so here we go. I haven't seen you around here before, so you think you're pretty tough? Well, I did beat Falkner without breaking a sweat. I think I am pretty tough indeed, yes. Uh, so, youngster Albert, Albert. Youngster Albert sent out Oratatea. Uh, we'll send out a Midlow. And we will use the Super Sonic on Albert's Rotatea. He became confused. He's probably going to attack us if he does. See, so, yeah, I, I think that my theory is correct. I was just about to say, I think he might actually get an attack off on us. If he does, I, I'm going to post that up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to, what's his name? Um, Proto Mario. I'm going to see if he did one like this where it's like uh, confusion works against smarter Pokemon, it's more effective against them because they're more confused, uh, because weaker Pokemon don't rely on their intelligence as much. Whereas smart Pokemon, if they become confused, it's far more effective because they can't think as well as they used to. So we agree to level 12, which is cool. Ah, oh, yeah! We learnt Bite! So you learn Bite at level 12, that's awesome. Oh, he's sending out the Zubat. Um, yeah, we'll send out Hot Dog. What level's his Zubat? Level 8. So we're going to send out Hot Dog. We're going to use an Ember because I'm not sure if Bite will be very effective against a Zubat. But, uh, I don't know, it might be. I don't know, I've never, I've never tried. Uh, hey, it didn't work. That's always good. So yeah, that's how Zubat looks from the other side. I'd almost forgotten from looking at him from behind so much. So um, yeah, we defeated Albert. And now that we've been introduced to trainer battles, sometimes moves around the side, it must be close to hatching. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Bite. Yeah, it's 60 and it's an attack that may cause Pokemon to flinch. So we're going to swap him around to Dandelion now. Dandelion hasn't really got much action recently. So we're going to see if we can actually get him leveled up. But there's a Repel here, which is pretty cool. Uh, and there's a Pokemon Trainer there, but I'll just check whether there wasn't another one. No, there wasn't. So uh, we've got another battle coming up, so here we go. She was on the phone and we interrupted her, so now she's going to battle us. Um, oh yeah, I need to talk to that guy up there, see if we can get his number or not, because I know that we can get her number, Picnica Liz. It's a Nidoran, so I'm not sure if Razor Leaf will be very effective against it. We can always try and see. No, it's not, but it was a critical hit, so it did its base 60 damage, which was boost boosted by the Miracle Seed. 
so another critical hit, nice. So he's now reducing our attack, we're going to go ahead and use a tackle on this uh, Nidoran, try and get it down, and we got it down, Hey, And we got 112 experience points. Awesome, so Dandelion nearly leveled up. And we're going to get this skill's number, because we're a player. So we got Liz's number, which is awesome. Uh, we're going to quickly chat to this person again, see if we can get your number. No, we can't get his number. Okay. But it's, it, was worth ch it was worth checking out, see if we could. So we've got choices here. I went slightly too far, <laughs> that's not a problem. So here we go with another battle. Uh, I'm going to head towards the right down that ramp, because we've got some really cool water type people that we can face up against. It's Nidoran male. So this must be um, this must be Picnica Liz's boyfriend really. So we're gonna swap out for Hot Dog. We're gonna use Embers. This Nidoran knows horn attack. That's that's frightening. I might need to use a potion in a sec. Oh, yeah, I need to use a potion because Horn Attack is a really powerful attack and it has a high critical hit ratio. So I don't know whether we'd be able to... Let's try and bite it, see if that does anything, Let's see if it flinches. Yes, it does flinch, haha! -ha! We outwitted you, Nidoran, and we shared the experience, which is awesome. And their camper Roland is gone. Uh, let's see if we can get his number. No, we can't. So we're going to continue along this way. And we've got some uh, water type people to face. So it's really good that we've got a dandelion out front. One of these, I think, is one of those people who has loads and loads and loads of magic art. So he's got a polywag. That's cool. So we're going to send out Dandelion, we're going to use the Razor Leaf straight away. And uh, that should be enough to take this Poliwag down. Which it was more than enough, thanks to the Miracle Seed and the Type Advantage. So Dandelion's now level 12, which is awesome. And he learnt Reflect, which is a defensive barrier move, I think. It raises... Uh, defense. So, oh, all that we've got now is Hot Dog. So we're going to bring him out quickly, and then we're going to bring back out Dandelion. I don't want to waste the experience here, so let's bring him out quickly, then bring Dandelion back out, and use another Razor Leaf on this Poliwag. Our team is shaping up here. Uh, we're covering quite a few of the strengths and weaknesses of Dandelion, uh, and covering uh, some of the strengths and weaknesses of our other members as well. So, you know, like, um, Zubat's weak against Electric and Rock-type. Also against Psychics. Um, but it does have Bite, so that can be used against them just quickly switch. I think the next guy is the one that has all those magic arts, so we don't need to swap back to uh, Chikorita. Great thing is that coming up is Union Cave, and Union Cave you can actually get... You can actually get a uh, Lapras on Fridays. It's a special event in the game. So yeah, he's got he's got four magic up. We can take them out with bite, no problem at all. Uh, and level up hot dog to level twelve as well. So that's great, all of our Pokemon are now up to level twelve, which is awesome. Uh, hot dog is becoming a very, very 
very, very strong member of our team, actually. Considering that we caught him at level 5, it wasn't actually that long ago that we caught him. Uh, so he's leveled up really quickly as well, probably because we've used him so much. So this measure cups to level 15 and it knows tackle. So this is going to be slightly more difficult, but still, even though it was a level 15 and it knew tackle, we were absolutely fine. We were able to do stuff about that. Gonna send out another Magikarp. Might as well keep out Hot Dog because I doubt he's got two level 15s. Now it's another level 5, so we'll be able to take that out with one bite, no problems at all there. And uh, Hot Dog is now level 12, which is absolutely awesome. Mum's phoning us. Uh, Mum found a new channel like tomorrow shopping. It's in our PC. So yeah, that's a so it's great. We'll be able to show an example of Mum. Uh, Mum buying us something, which is really cool. I think there's another yeah, there's another guy on this route. Um, but I'll avoid him for now because I want to go to... Oh! <laughs> right, I was trying to avoid people because I realised that I've been recording now for 26 minutes and I wanted to keep this uh, video down to uh, 25 if I could, but you know, we'll, we'll keep it under 30, we'll keep it under 30 minutes and that should be fine. He's got a Wooper level 10, we're gonna swap um, for um, Dandelion here. Uh, Wooper is part ground as well, so it should be quad. It's quad weak against grass types, which makes this, you know, Razor Leaf, Miracle Seed, Dandelion level 12. We should be able to take it out with only one hit, which is amazing. Yeah, we were able to do that, and we defeated Gordon. So there we go. Uh, Gordon was defeated, and up here is a guy who's selling Slowpoke Tail for a million. I don't even think we can get a million, so we would never be able to buy that. But up here is a guy with the Old Rod. So we also got the Old Rod in this video, which is great. Uh, the Old Rod, all that it can catch is Magikarp. So if you want a Gyarados on your team, that's good, you can you can uh, catch a Magikarp, you can use the swapping technique to train it up. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can train it up that way. So that's my Pokemon healed. I'll quickly check what Mum bought us in the PC here, in Steven's PC. Withdraw an item. Oh, it's a Super Potion. Nice. See, we can't buy those yet. So you see, she gets us really interesting items that we can't get anywhere else. So we're not quite ready to move on yet, but I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And that's it for this part. We're almost three hours in. But that's it for this part of the game, guys. Um, when next I meet you, uh, we'll meet right back where we left off, right here. Uh, we'll be exploring this route a little bit more. Um, because there's actually a couple of Pokemon that I just remembered that I might want to add to our team that are around here. So um, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.